Hey, what's going on guys? It's YK So welcome back to another video. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you the vendor reset for December 30th, 2016. This is going to be the last one of the year. So let's make it great. Hopefully there's some good items being sold. If you guys end up enjoying the video, don't forget to drop a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel for more Daily Division content. I do a bunch of stuff on my channel. So if you guys are new watching me, I'd appreciate it if you guys can check out my other videos as well. I put a lot of time into those and I just hit 5,000 subs. So I just wanted to thank all those who subbed to me and just for all the support recently. It's amazing. Can't do it without you guys. So let's get into the video. To begin over here in the base of operations, the gear vendor is selling an operator pads, which is pretty good for high end builds. I would say so myself. It's rolled into stamina, but you can either re-roll that higher or re-roll into firearms. It's already got really good armor onto it and also enemy armor damage. All right, so over here, still in the base of operations at the Advanced Weaponry Vendor, we actually have a God Roll SAS G12, 349% stagger, 82.6k base damage. It's rolled with Brutal, Responsive, and Destructive. Now, I'm not a big shotgunner, so I don't know if the stagger is a lot or if the base damage is heavy but I definitely know for a fact that these three talents are very, very good with each other. So I would definitely suggest picking this up. So down here in the terminal at the special equipment vendor, we have a lightweight M4 with 18.6K base damage with 22% enemy armor damage rolled onto it, vicious and destructive already on it. And you can reroll the top slot for probably responsive or something else that would fit your liking. Down here, we have a tactical vest, which is actually reckless. 1223 firearms. It's already got health rolled onto it and ammo capacity. So all you need on there is actually armor. And it would be a pretty good piece for you guys to buy it. So I'd say the only backpack that I do suggest buying this week from the special equipment vendor is the Hunter's Faith backpack. It's not that great, but it's heavily rolled into firearms. You can re-roll armor onto it and unfortunately it does not have ammo capacity but i thought i'd throw that in there for you guys looking for hunter faith backpack pieces all right down here a little bit more the predators mark holster it's pretty much god roll it's got 1200 plus on everything and it's got 1261 stamina it's got 623 armor so you can find something to re-roll on here to make it slightly better i would probably go for the firearms other than that i think it's a pretty good piece over here still in the terminal at the Special Blueprints vendor, we have the ACR Blueprint, which I definitely suggest picking up. It's a magnificent weapon, I love it. And then the Holster Blueprint, which you can get a high-end holster from that. Over here in Autumn Soap Safe House, if you guys are looking for a skill power build, I would suggest buying this Prototype Electronics mod. It's not the highest rolls, but I definitely wanted to throw this in here for you guys. 242 Electronics and 245 Armor. Over here at the Ward Safe House, if you guys still don't have one of these, you can definitely pick it up right here. 5% first aid self heal. I'm rocking 6% first aid self heal right now, but 5% is still a pretty good one if you don't have it yet. Over here in the firewall, the gear vendor is selling a prototype performance mod, which gives you 6.5% mobile cover health. I think it's a pretty good one to get if you guys are rocking those, so definitely pick it up this week. Over here in the Dark Zone at West 46th Street, we have a Prototype Performance mod, which gives you 4.5% Support Station Healing Speed. Over here in the Dark Zone at East 46th Street, he has shown a pretty good Military L86. 13% damage to target out of cover. I'm not sure if that's low or high, but you guys will probably know by watching this. 16.4k base damage. It's got Brutal and Unforgiving rolled onto it already. If I were you, I'd re-roll some pretty nice stuff on here, probably prepared or maybe even destructive, that would be pretty good as well. Over here in the dark zone at West 34th Street, we got two items that I think are pretty decent. This specialized backpack, it's not the best, but um, if I were you, I'd probably re-roll skill power into either armor, or you can re-roll the firearms higher up on that or into stamina. Nonetheless, I think it's a pretty good specialized backpack if you guys haven't gotten one yet. Down here, the prototype performance mod, 7.5% turret health, so you guys, can use that on your wonderful, wonderful flame turrets and shock turrets and just piss me off even more in the dark zone. So have fun with that, guys. Over here in the dark zone at East 31st Street, we have a pretty good prototype stamina mod. I went ahead and bought a few of these for myself. So that means that they're pretty good. It's 251 stamina and 259 armor. Um, of course, it could be a little bit better, but I think that's pretty good if you guys don't have those yet. Definitely purchase them. They're only 21,000 dark zone funds. Over here in the Dark Zone at East 40th Street, we have another turret mod, which I don't know why I'm showing it to you guys. It's just going to piss me off even more. But as long as you guys are happy, it is 3.5% turret damage. So mix that with the, the turret health that I just showed previously, and you've got a pretty mad white chaos in the lobby. 
Over here in the dark zone at West 39th Street, we have a Vigorous Chest at 1254 Stamina, 6000 Health, and you can reroll armor over the health on kill, that would be good. Unfortunately though, there is no ammo capacity, so you may have to make do without that. Over here in the dark zone at the DZ03 safe house, we got a pretty good first wave vector with 38% critical hit damage and 16.3k base damage. We've got capable, unforgiving, and predatory on here. This will probably be used best for an alpha bridge build as a secondary and or maybe a PvE build. You may not need to change much on it. I think it's a pretty good gun, but you guys may think differently. I think it actually looks pretty good. Know what I mean? Alright guys, so that's it for this week's vendor reset for December 30th, 2016. It's the last one of the year, so hopefully next year, 2017, they're going to grant us with better items that are just, you know, good. There's a lot of items lately that have not been good. There have been a few here and there. There are a few in this video, probably a number of them that I can count on my hand, but it's not, you know, spectacular. Um, don't worry at this DZ06 safe house, there's nothing here. I'll just go over it real fast if you guys want me to. I don't know, you may see something here you like. I honestly didn't, you know, think it was that big of a deal to go over. So I just went over it briefly for you guys right there. So if you guys ended up enjoying the video, don't forget to drop a like on it. And also subscribe to the channel for more Daily Division content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.